Creating a Solar Eclipse Using Pastels with Mr. G. So today we're going to be starting with a black piece of paper, uh, a template of a circle, and then we have our pastels, our red, our orange, yellow, a little bit lighter yellow, and a white. It's pretty simple stuff. You can even do this without a second yellow on there. So first thing that I got to do is put a little bit of tape on the back of our template. And so we can put that wherever we want to on our paper. And decide to put it right there, kind of make the decision to, to put it there. And then I will add some tape. Um, you can do this by yourself or somebody can help you out with it. What I've learned is that this tape is a little bit sticky. And so what I like to do is I'll put the tape on and then I'd like to put it on, say, my pants leg once I put it on there and it'll make it a little less sticky so when you take it off then it won't rip your paper or wreck your paper i've noticed that that happened to my paper uh, after i was done with my first one so you might want to do that and so you want to put it pretty close to the edge make it kind of flat and again if you need help with this just ask for some help and we'll flip it around and we'll put it down solid where we want to put it keep it I'm going to decide to put it right here. Just make it sure that it's down pretty firmly so it won't move on you and you'll be able to use the pastels on it. So what you want to do is you want to kind of imagine that this circle is a clock. And we'll put something at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. And then we're going to divide those in, in half as well. So we want to go um, in between those marks as well. And what we're doing is we're just marking a direction. So when we go out from our sphere, then we're going out in perfect lines rather than going the wrong way or sideways. So this will help you go out, be kind of a guideline for you. And you might have to keep making those. So the first thing I like to do is to take some red, take your red and then just push it out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push it out and you wanna follow the direction of those lines that we just made. So sometimes I like to make myself just a little bit of a template from each of those lines and that'll help me keep in line, no pun intended, that'll help me keep in line of the other ones. So I'm making a consistent uh, line going out from the circle. So you can choose to do this but if you think you're good enough to do it by your own that's fine too. Just kind of keep an eye on your progress, how you do that. So I'm going to take that red, and I'm going to get as close as I can to the edge of that circle. And sometimes that pastel might not come out right away. You can take a piece of paper off to the side and then kind of just rub it on there, and that sometimes makes it a little bit easier if you find that there's not color coming off of the pastel. So I'm just going to go all the way on the outside, all the way around. See how I'm doing that? To make sure that there's nothing underneath. Like I, I'm noticing I have a little crack underneath my paper and look what it's doing to my pastel, to my artwork. So make sure you don't have that. So after you finish that first layer, what you wanna do is you wanna take your finger and you wanna push out in the same direction. You've done this with pastels before. So it's that one, the mixing of it's not too tough. It's not a, not a new concept for a lot of you. So just make sure that you're following the direction. I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of this. Right now, it looks like all of my lines are going just straight out. And if you look at the other examples that I'm going to include, some of them are going to kind of flare out. And so you can do that too. You can kind of decide. I'll show you those in, in just a little bit once I'm completed with this one here. So next thing we want to do is we want to take our orange. If you've got a nice orange, the pastel set that we have had a pretty nice orange. And so what we want to do is we want to take the, we want to do the exact same thing except for this time. And let me mark up my, my little clock areas there again so I can kind of have a guide. But what you want to do is you don't want to take this orange all the way out. You want to go about three quarters of the way you're almost, you're almost to the edge, but you're leaving a little bit of that red behind. And you can see in our example of an eclipse, that kind of is what it might look like. 
So once again, I'm just running my line straight out. And I'm going to get as much of this down as I possibly can. So now we have a really nice blend of red and orange. So we're going to look next at uh, getting our yellow. And get some nice little bright yellow that we're going to use. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to go as far as the orange this time. I'm rubbing a little bit of my yellow on a piece of paper because it wasn't coming off as nicely as I wanted it to. So once again, just dividing the circle up so we know which direction to go. And then this time we'll just take that about, once again, three quarters of the way, almost to the edge of where those, that orange is. And we'll go all the way around. You might notice that I'm rotating my paper and that just makes it easier for me to make straight edges. So I'm going to wind this down and you'll notice that we're being very repetitious in what we do. So now I'm going to take that kind of lighter yellow. It's not as bright, it's closer to white. It's kind of a cream colored yellow, really. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to go all the way to the, a little bit before the edge of the yellow that we did previously. And I'm sure you can guess what the last thing we're going to do is we are going to take our white and then this is going to be kind of the smallest ridge that we're going to put out there. So hopefully that this will be the one that kind of stands out the most. It should be the brightest because it's the last color that we're putting on. And if it's not quite bright enough, what I would do is probably smudge it and do it um, on top of that even. And with that, we are finished. All that's left to do is just to peel that away. This is the first time that I ever did this, so this is when I noticed that the tape is kind of ripping my paper. So once again, you just want to take that tape, that whole circle thing when you put the tape on there, and then put it on your pants leg a couple times, two or three times, to get that stickiness off. And you are left with a beautiful solar eclipse. One thing I forgot to mention is we haven't added any stars yet. So we're looking out into kind of deep space at this time. And sometimes when we're looking at eclipses, like a total solar eclipse, you may be able to see some stars. So I'm gonna put a couple of stars here and there, just with the very tip of my white pastel. With this last one, notice that I'm kind of not doing straight lines anymore. I'm starting to do a little bit of flare work. So you can kind of look and see how there's kind of curved. They're still going straight out from the circle, but they're a little bit more curvy. And I'll do that with all of them, and that'll kind of mix things together really nicely. I'm also doing this with my fingers, not just with the pastel. And you can see how those blend together really nice and kind of make a fire, uh, fire color, fire look. Thanks for watching.